You join me on the battlefield for workout three of the vegan bulk series. This episode, quads and hams. Okay, so starting with the compound moves, nice basic barbell back squat first. Make sure your hands are equidistant, you're in the middle of the bar as you duck under there. A lot of people will dip their head to the side and end up uh, off centre. Nice and deep full range of motion, trying to get the crease of your hip past the top of your knee. Nice and upright with the torso, neutral spine. Feet turn slightly out at what we call five to one. Make sure your heels are shoulder width and we're going to be sitting back on the heels so we're putting the stress through the glutes as opposed to so much through the knees and the quadriceps by toe pressing. Pick this first because it's a nice basic movement. Everyone wants to know what's your squat, bench, deadlift. So it's a way of seeing how things are progressing. Speaking of which, three weeks back, my first week back leg training after my finish of my cut, I got 80 kilos for 1086. And this week, 90 kilos for 10, eight and eight. So we're up 10 kilos um, basically over two weeks. Exercise two, leg press. So just for a bit more volume for the quads. Slightly different from the squat here. The plate is moving away from me rather than me moving away from the floor. So it's a different stress on the muscles. You're gonna build a bit more of a 3D look. It's good to really mix things up rather than just repeating the same things through the workout. Pull yourself into the seat via the handle so you've got a nice strong foundation. Look for at least 90 degree flexion in the knees as you come to the bottom. And then I like to lock out. I get a lot of abuse online, people are telling me I'm gonna break my knees. My perspective is, well, they're not broken in 28 years, so, you know, when's it gonna happen? Started a couple of weeks back on 250 kilos for 10, eight and six. Had a lot of soreness uh, the first week and decided just to up this by five kilos each week. So I've gone from 250 to 260 this week. Probably the next week I'm gonna up it by 10 because uh, had better recovery this time. Been up to 400 kilos before, so muscle memory and all that. Exercise three, machine squat. So the last two movements were, you know, the feet turned out, shoulder width stance, which kind of hits more the adductors, like the inner thighs. This time I've got the feet placed very close together, pointing forwards. And as you can see, I'm going rock bottom here. So a lot of stress on the quadriceps. And I'm gonna be stressing more the outer sweep, the vastus lateralis, to give me a wider look from the front aspect. This was a real effort this day. I had to really psych myself up to get my 10, eight and six. Uh, it was 20 kilos up over the first week. It's been going up by 10 kilo increments. Next week, I'm gonna repeat because that was so hard to get that I'm going to repeat it just to get comfortable, really consolidate my strength at 140. Although we like to make these uh, steady progressions week on week, sometimes, you know, it's form first. It's so easy to let your form deteriorate if you try to progress too quickly. So little progressions, you know, little and often, but I always in form first. So that's all the compounds done onto the isolation moves. First with the quadriceps with leg extension. So when you're setting up for this, take care that your knee is in line with the pivot point of the machine. You're gonna pull yourself into the machine, get a firm base. A lot of people don't pull themselves down into the seat, so yeah, as they straighten their legs, they let their bum go up in the air, which obviously you're letting the, the stress off the quadriceps. So nice strong base, nice full range of motion, pull all the way in there. Full extension, full flexion of the knee. Here I was on um, Izzy's weight, so that felt a little bit easier. So uh, even the experts get it wrong from time to time. Even monkeys fall out of trees. And again, this routine like the other ones so far, my strength is shooting up so well. I feel like my body performs so well. I've been whole foods plant-based for five years now and my body's just responding better and better and healthier and healthier. Anyone who tells you you can't build muscle on a vegan diet, well, they just haven't tried it. They're just listening to the BS. You know, why not speak to someone who's actually doing it? I can tell you this is the optimal way to grow muscles. It's the optimal way to get cut as well. It's the optimal way to grow muscles. We're born to eat plant foods, whole plant foods. Exercise five, low leg curl. 
bit of a hard machine to get some good angles on because it's sort of stuck up a, a corner there. But Izzy's doing a lovely job with the camera as always. She's getting mad strong as well, by the way. She's my training partner. So comment below if you'd like to see more stuff from Izzy. Maybe see her do uh, a few work sets and things. We're going to do a transformation video um, eventually. So as you can see, the knee's just below the end of the bench. And again, full flexion. You want to rather be hitting you in the back of the legs. Full extension. First week I was on 30 kilos. And then this week, two weeks later, I've gone up to 32 and a half because I was struggling last week with the 32 and a half. But I actually got two extra reps on each set. So I got 12, 10 and eight. So next week we'll go up to 35 on this one. Exercise six, stiff legged deadlift. This used to be called straight legged deadlift. And then a lot of people by jamming their knees, their legs ramrod straight. So they come down. A lot of people find that they strain the tendons at the back of the knee. I certainly did this myself. So you'll see as the camera pans around, I've got quite a softness to my knees. However, I'm not dropping my bum down and doing like a normal deadlift. The point here is that you're taking the stress off of the low back so much and putting it on the really the upper hamstrings. Having pre-exhausted the hamstrings on the leg curl, that will really help in this as well. So that is my strategy there. Historically, I've had um, disc problems like herniation so I have to be very careful on any deadlift type movement. Started out two weeks back 70 kilos, three sets of 10. This session got up to 85 and I'm more in my sort of working range really. I went 10, 8, 6 as I was reaching near failure each time. And lastly exercise 7, seated ham curl. So just to give a bit more volume again to the hamstrings, a bit more direct work. I really struggle on the lying leg curl and I've got the most potential really to make strength there so I thought I'd put that first in the hamstrings portion of this routine and then this one I tend to be able to overload well so I've put it last. Once I get up to full strength I can pretty much stack this so less potential to make improvements. A couple of weeks back 50 kilos seemed to be about my work weight and I went up to 55 last week. Ended up on 62 and a half this week and I got 10, eight and eight. So, um, so again, strength shooting up on here. Is it ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for victory. What is he said? <laughs> <laughs>